Hi everyone, welcome to Evie's Toy House. Today we're making a brand new custom pony. I have Rarity here, and this is a large 6 inch pony. And we're going to transform her into Autumn Blaze from the My Little Pony Season 8 episode, Sounds of Silence. Autumn Blaze is a Kirin and very talkative. It's a really fun episode, so if you have not seen it, make sure to check it out. If you've seen this episode, here is today's trivia question. What is the name of the flower that is used to restore the power to speak for the Kirins? Comment below if you know. Alright, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is remove Rarity's hair. So we're just going to use a pair of scissors and we're going to cut it. And we're doing this because we want to replace the hair. And we're also going to cut off the tail. And let's see if we can push the tail in. So there we go. We can just use this to add our new tail. And we're going to trim the rest of the hair so it's as close to the scalp as we possibly can. For the body color, I'm going to make some light green into vanilla. We're going to cover everything up, including the eyes. And here is Autumn Blade. She is all done. Her body is complete. And I also use the pencil to draw in her eyes. So next, we're going to paint her eyes. Starting with black, we're going to draw in the eyelashes. We'll paint the upper and the lower lashes. Then, using white, we'll color in the eyes. Now for the irises. I'm going to start with light brown, but we're going to mix in a little bit of orange, yellow, and gold. Once that's done, we're going to add in large black pupils. And finally, two white dots. What do you think? I think the eyes look great. Now we're mixing lime green and sage green to paint the little strip along Autumn Blaze's forehead and also a section of her back. I'm not really sure if this is clothing that the Kirins wear or if it's actually part of their bodies. Next, we're going to use buff and paint the tips of her ears.
Then we'll go back with some olive green and use it to outline the green section on the forehead and add some stripes. We're also going to add some scales, or maybe these are actually leaves on the green part of her back. And here is Autumn Blaze so far. I think she's looking really good. Alright, now let's work on her horns. Autumn Blaze has branch-like horns that curves back. So we're going to remove most of Rarity's horn and rebuild it using air dry clay. And do it real slow so that we don't injure ourselves. Here we go. So this way we have a little bit of the original horn so that we have something to stick the clay on. Now using air dry clay, we're going to remake the horn. We'll curve it back a little and split the top into two branches. For the tail, since it's long and skinny, I'm going to use a piece of wire on the inside. This will keep the clay from breaking. After making a thick section on one end, we can stick it into the back of the phony. Then using more air dry clay, we're going to wrap it around the wire and create a tail. So now we're ready to paint. So we have the horn that's dried and also the tail. So let's paint the tail the same color as her body. For the horn, we're going to paint the chevron stark red first. And then the rest of the horn will be dark brown. Finally, we're ready for the hair. To make the mane and tail, we're going to use dark orange yarn. And since Autumn Blaze looks a little bit like a lion, we're going to need to curl the yarn first. So I'm taking a metal chopstick. You can use a knitting needle or a wooden dowel, and we're going to tie one end of the yarn on it. And then wrap the yarn all the way down the stick. At the end, we'll tie another knot. So I've gone ahead and made a whole bunch of them. Right now, I have eight of these. And now, we're going to curl it. So what we're going to do is I have my baking pan here. And we're going to lay out our little chopsticks with the yarn on top. And we're going to pour some water on it so that it's wet. And make sure it's nice and wet. Okay, now we're going to get rid of the excess water. And we're going to bake it for 15 minutes or so at 250 until it's dried. Now we're going to put it into the oven at 250 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 minutes until the yarn is dried. Here's the yarn, it's nice and dried. Let's unravel it and see what it looks like. Alright, look, it's nice and curly. So we're going to take these curls and tie together little bunches of them. 
So I'm going to take my glue here and we're going to add a whole bunch of glue to the back here. And then we're going to take our first bunch of hair and press it into the glue. Now we can add another layer on top. And we're going to keep adding layers until we get to the top of the head. To the front here, we're going to add individual ringlets. Let's do the same thing to the chest. We're going to add small bunches of curls until we have the front covered. And to make it look more like a lion's mane, we're going to put a little bit more along the sides. For the tail, we're going to do something very similar. So we're going to start with some glue here on the bottom of the tail. And we're going to attach our first piece of yarn. After that, we're going to add more glue and attach a few more pieces of yarn. And oh my goodness everyone, we are done! Just take a look at my Autumn Blaze! Isn't she cool looking? So here she is from the front. You can see that she has these big brownish golden eyes. She has this strip of green coming down her front. And of course she has this curly hair. And this hair travels all the way down her chest looking very much like a lion's mane. And here on the sides, you can see that she has this little patch of green, either leaves or scales on her back. And she has a little fluffy tail. And there's even a tiny bit of hair tufts on the back of her legs. So let's turn her around again. I think she looks so cute. Oh my gosh, I really love the way this custom came out. So this one was actually a lot of work just because we had to do the horn, we had to rebuild the tail, and of course we had to make all the curly yarn bits for the hair. But I think it's well worth it, and I love the large 6 inch size of this pony. So do you know the answer to today's trivia question? What is the name of the flower that's used to restore the power to speak for the Kirins? And the answer is Bull's Breath. Did you get it right? If you did, comment below, I won! So let me know down below in the comment section what you think of my Autumn Blaze. And if you like this video, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!